Yo guys, another video, Bill Burr, Dogs, Kids and a Prius. So let's check it out man, thanks for the requests as always, let's get into it man. Oh, I've got my weed, got my tea, three sugars, heavy on the, heavy on the cow. Heavy on the cow meaning a lot of, a lot of milk. Anyway, let's go. I think I'll be a good dad, though. You know? <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, analyze it. I don't th I've actually come, finally come to the point. I want to have a kid, and I don't think it's that hard. <laughs> I don't. Part of me really believes that, and the other part is I just like pissing off people with kids, you know? <laughs> Whenever you say yeah. shit like that, oh, you have no idea <laughs> how difficult it is. This is a great one to say. Well, I mean, I got a dog. I mean... You know, how much stuff, dude, you can't even fucking compare it to a dog. Yeah, I can. I just did, and I'll do yeah, it again. Nice. Mine's got four legs, yours only has two. Go ahead. Yours bites someone and gets a timeout. Mine gets put down. <laughs> Stakes are raised. Fucking real tall. No, I think I know. I think I know how to raise a kid. You know what it is? You just, you just play catch with them. I think that's the big deal, man. That's how you raise a kid. You play catch with them. You just talk about life. You distract them by throwing the ball. They don't even notice you're filling their heads up with your theories. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't do it the old school way, the way your parents used to. Sit down across from you. You want to tell me about your day? Did anybody offer you any drugs? Are you learning about sex? You're like, dude, you're fucking freaking me out. Uh -huh. I need a Pop-Tart here, right? <laughs> hey, just take them back. You play catch with them. That's it. You talk about life, right? What's that, son? Ah, we're not going to church today. Fuck that. <laughs> ah, it's all a bunch of bullshit. God's everywhere, but I got to go down there to see him, really? And he's mad at me down there, and I owe you money? Go fuck yourself. That's <laughs> not stupid. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. It's like that. It's in here, all right? <laughs> It's not down, it's in here. They try to take it, it's down, it's in here. You do something good, you feel good. You do something bad, you feel bad, you know? Unless you're like a sociopath and you don't feel shit, you know? <laughs> Unless you got somebody duct taped upside down in your apartment, you know? And, and if you do something like that, I want you to feel like you can come to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, come to me, confess all of that. We'll go down to the precinct, we'll tell them everything. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you in. This isn't fucking Dexter. What are you, you mind? <laughs> There's some feel-good serial killer walking around. He only kills the, the bad people. Ah, I love Bill Bear. Listen, I know your mother and I, we've been arguing a lot lately, all right? But I know, you know, you know I love her. I love her to death, okay? It's weird. I love her to death, but when I watch her eat toast, I just wanna, I just wanna choke her. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like it's the routine, right? <laughs> Left, then the middle. Just why don't you just fold it in half and fucking eat it? You know what I mean? Oh my God. It's unreal. You know? That's that, that's when you know you you know you met the right one. When you want to slap the shit out of him, but you don't. <laughs> you know? You want to leave, but you don't. There's something about him oh you just God. can't fucking leave, right? <laughs> so don't settle down till you meet one like that. That's that's when you know. Till then, you know, oh. put a condom on. You know? Just bang. Do you know, he looks like the kind of person who would actually do this with his son. Like, he's actually took on the persona, like he's actually there with his kid, he's throwing the ball. And this looks like he legitimately say all this to his son. What a legend, man. Hang as many as you can, so you don't have a <laughs> midlife crisis. That's what you do. Don't tell your mother I'm telling you any of this shit, either. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Life lessons, yeah. man. Yeah, man. That's my, uh, that's, that's my game plan. You know, I do have a dog. That doesn't count for anything. I've never understood that. <laughs> you know, I love my dog, but uh, I've learned a lot on being a dog owner, man. You know, any dog's a good dog unless you're a psycho. You know, I got a pit bull. It's still a great dog unless you're a fucking psycho. And evidently, I'm a psycho because my dog has been a, just been a complete maniac <laughs> over the last like six months, you know? Um... I didn't realize that dogs feed off your vibes, you know? Like, if you're chilling, they're chilling, you know? If you're sleeping, they're sleeping. But if you're a psycho like me, and you're screaming at the ref on TV, being like, dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me! I didn't realize <laughs> the dog was over in the corner being like, yeah, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is bullshit. I don't know what this guy's mad at, but I love this guy. This guy feeds me, 
Is it the door? Are you mad at the door? <laughs> Yeah, I had no idea I was amping this dog up. I was so selfishly in my own world. I'd be like on the computer and would crash and go, oh, really? Really? Dog's over in the corner with like a chew toy. <laughs> I never noticed like that game seven look she was getting on her face. And one day I amped her up too much, had no clue. And I went outside, we were just walking down the street and some poor bastard comes the other way and the dog's like, that's that motherfucker. <laughs> lunge at this guy. I had to pull her back. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. She's never done anything like that, right? <laughs> looking down at the dog. Like, What's wrong with you? Dog's looking up at me like, huh? I got that son of a bitch, didn't I? <laughs> I love you. You feed me. I got you. How the hell did you see him that far away, man? Your ears must be better than mine. It's unbelievable. <laughs> right? Uh, then I got nervous. I, I got nervous back. around my own dog. I started thinking, fuck, are pit bulls really like this? Do they just go psycho? Man, this is nuts, right? That's another bad vibe to have around your dog because they pick up on that vibe, right? This dude comes walking down the street, and I immediately just start thinking, like, oh, shit, is she going to do it again? Oh, shit, oh, shit. Dog just looks at me like, oh, shit, what? Oh, shit, what? Him, him, him. Ah! Another guy. Had to pull her back. So Jesus true, I'm sorry. Looking down at the dog. Dog's trying to chest bump me and shit, right? <laughs> Dude, it got so bad one day, she almost, she almost ate a landscaper, right? Oh, yeah, so I'm like, I got I to gotta take this thing to a trainer, man. So I load it up in the Prius, and I drive over there, right? <laughs> yeah, I have a Prius. Go ahead, judge me. I love that shit. If you have a Prius, people, you know, you can't win. You got a truck with a big lift kit, people, oh, it's probably because he has a little dick. <laughs> right? How come it's not because he has, has a dick down to the floor? Maybe that's why he needs all that clearance. Right? <laughs> you know? If that means you have a little dick, then if, if I have a Prius, doesn't that mean I, I have a huge dick, right? Because <laughs> according to my friends, it means I'm a fag, right? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I've seen that on South Park. Let me towel off here for a Prius moment. And this smug. So I fucking take this dog down to this trainer, right? And I show up, got the dog in the back. The trainer comes out, he's got his hat on backwards, he's got stubble, you know, big, large cargo pants, you know all shorts on and stuff, and I'm thinking, this guy's a psycho, right? And I look at my dog, my dog's like sizing him up. I'm like, this is perfect, you can handle him. So the guy goes, all right, when you hand this dog to me, make sure you got the leash totally taut like that, all right? Don't have any slack in it. I said, no problem, right? And somehow I fucked up, I left a little slack in it, and this dog just lunged right at the dude's balls, right? And just barely missed him, and just got a big mouthful of his big cargo shorts, right? And immediately he just grabs it and goes, all right, get out of here, get out of here, right? But instinctually, I tried to help out, and he just goes, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize that the only reason why the dog was acting like that was because I was there and it felt like it needed to protect me. So the second I left, the situation immediately just became awkward, right? The dog was just sitting there like, okay, like, I thought we were, like, together and we were, like, friends and you were some bad guy and all of a sudden he just drove away and I don't know how to feed myself. Do you want to be friends? <laughs> yeah, I come back four days later, the dog's laying at the guy's feet, right? He's rubbing her belly. She's reaching up, playing with his goatee and shit. <laughs> and he goes, go ahead, ha have, a, have a seat. Why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, take me through your day with this dog? Immediately, I started getting like this first 48 vibe, right? <laughs> yeah. Like they're coming at me. So I got like defensive. I'm like, what do you mean? I take it for a hike every morning. He goes, that's good, that's good. Anything, you know, special happen on the hike? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. She takes a shit. I pick it up. He's <laughs> like, all right, easy. <laughs> You play any games with her? I go, yeah, at the end of the hike. I let her, I let her, you know, for reward for going on the hike, I let her run up the stairs by herself. I go, go on, Cleo. I let her run up the stairs, and I count five, 1,000, and then I run up there, and then we start wrestling. Put her in a headlock, sweep her front legs, ah, right? <laughs> but her tail's wagging, you know? She's not growling. I go, that's a good thing, right? He's like, no, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> I'm like, why? He goes, you just taught your dog to claim the house and then fight for it every <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. day after the hike. No wonder this thing's trying to attack the mailman, you know? So then I got upset. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. You're telling me, like, I can't even play with my dog? He's like, no, you can play with it, but you got to bring that energy back down. Problem is, is you keep amping this thing up, getting that Mike Singletary look on his face, and by the time you walk out, it doesn't matter if you're relaxed. Mentally, the dog is like walking through the tunnel at the Rose Bowl, like, this is what we play for! <laughs> somebody hit somebody! It's so true. Oh, God. Yeah, so I'm actually learning 
to control my temper because of a fucking pit bull. <laughs> so, I don't know. My girls. Oh, I bet his dog's a legend as well. I bet his dog's amazing. <laughs> that was a great one. That was funny, that. I almost peed. Because I need a pee bad now, so I'm going to have to make this fast. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That was, that was a fucking funny one, that. So yeah, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, like if you like the video. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And peace. Get high.